Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to be talking about the Khan Ingold Prologue Convention. For a molecule with one chiral center, there are two enantiomeric possibilities and we're going to want to differentiate between them and in order to do that we have to use the Khan Ingold Prologue Convention. Now firstly we're going to have to identify any chiral center and in this case it's this carbon as you can see this is a two carbon chain this is a one carbon chain there is an implied hydrogen etc etc and we have to assign priority to each group according to their atomic mass so since we're gonna do it by atomic mass we can already see that oxygen will be first priority and oh we have to go one atom to another so we're not going by groups so we won't say that this carbon is connected to a hydroxyl group we will only assume it's connected to the oxygen atom and the implied hydrogen which i'm drawing right now will be the lowest priority but here we have two carbon atoms now when there are in a point of equivalence we always have to extend further down the chain until there is a point of difference so here we have the three implied hydrogens on this carbon and here we have two hydrogen implied hydrogens and one carbon atom so we have hydrogen 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 and here we have hydrogen hydrogen carbon now we're going to make it so that the hydrogens cancel out as they're the same and carbon is heavier than hydrogen so this group will be priority two and this group will be priority number three this is often a point a confusion but we don't do it by group so it's not the case that this is priority two and this is priority three because an ethyl group is heavier than a methyl group we're doing it because this carbon we have to extend down the chain when there is an equivalence and the hydrogens cancel out as they're all the same and carbon is heavier than hydrogen according to the periodic table if you want further details here is a link up in the cards about my video on the periodic table on the basis of atomic mass we have assigned priority to these four groups here we have one two three four and now we are going to have to make sure to get ourselves or the or rotate the molecule to make us away from the lowest priority now luckily we already have that so we don't have to start rotating the molecules just yet so we will make a circle from one two and three now when it's clockwise we call it R stereocenter and when it's counterclockwise we call it S stereocenter now this is clockwise so this will be an R stereocenter so the 
molecule's name will be R two butanol. We already knew this was 2-butanol due to our knowledge of the IUPAC nomenclature of alkanes. If you haven't watched my video on it, then I will put links up in the description for the IUPAC nomenclature videos. But now this has an enantiomer, so we put an R in front of it. You're going to have to assign absolute configuration on chiral centers. And a few pointers to note is that the lowest priority won't always be furthest from you. So for example, this molecule, as we can see, the hydrogen is actually towards you and the bromine which is the highest priority is further away from you now mentally you can switch yourself to the back so if i were to go in the back the hydrogen would be further from me and the bromine would be towards me now some people aren't all that comfortable about that so we can use a few tricks to get around that one trick we can use is that we can totally switch the bromine and the hydrogen now this is sort of a cheat because we are switching this to a different molecule but this works as long as we follow some things so we know that this will be priority one this will be priority four sorry if my drawing isn't straight again these are the implied hydrogens So we know that this carbon is heavy, lighter than this carbon, so this will be priority 2 and this will be priority 3. So when we make the circle, it looks like an R, but since we inverted the molecule, we have to invert the answer to make it a correct answer. So this molecule would actually be S. Now in this example, right below our first one, we see that the lowest priority is in the plane of the board. So that means that we can't switch the dash and the wedge because it's not in the dash and the wedge bond. It's in the plane of the board. Now, what you can sometimes do is mentally imagine that you are looking at this molecule from here and here I can see the bromine at the top, the fluorine on the right, the chlorine on the left, and the hydrogen on the back, which would in fact give a sort of easier way to do it but some people aren't comfortable with that so we can again invert the fluorine and the hydrogen to be this and now we have to assign the priority and then make the circle and again this looks like an R, but since we inverted the molecule, we have to invert the answer. So this molecule would be an S. So that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. If you have any other people or friends that are confused in this similar topic, make sure to share it to them and please leave a like down below and comment if you have any 
sort of questions or if you were confused in anything or if I had made an error. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.